Hi there, Jay Tedeschi here. Thanks for joining me today for this look at uh, Inventor Pro 2016's freeform modeling tools. We're going to start by converting a couple of surface patches uh, from an existing surface to use uh, in the freeform modeling environment. We set the grid density for those two surfaces and we'll begin to uh, manipulate these by uh, merging the edges of these two surface patches, freeform surface patches together. Now that'll create a single freeform patch. Uh, from that point forward we're going to begin to manipulate these to allow us to create the tub for this uh, the cockpit of the BAC Mono. Now note that those two blue surfaces, the lumbar pad and the leg support, those were both obtained from scans of a specific customer's uh, backside and you know the rear of his legs. So we are creating the tub that those pads sit in based on that surface uh, data. So again we'll do a conversion. We'll select these two. Again we'll select the uh, density and again we'll merge edges. So same process that we utilized the first time we're going to utilize uh, this time as well. So we'll join these into a single uh, freeform patch and from there we, uh, we will continue on with our quest to create the tub. Now here what we're going to do is subdivide to allow us to match the grid number of the uh, adjacent surface patch. And the reason for doing that is that uh, ultimately we're going to join these two patches together. But first we'll use match edge so that we can drive the edge of this new freeform patch along a spline which we defined by extracting from the scan data uh, that, that scan data, I hate to keep saying of the, the customer's backside but that essentially is what it is. So. so here's the bridge command. Now what bridge allows us to do is uh, essentially create a new uh, joining surface patch between two existing patches. Now we'll delete this area here that goes to the center line of the scan data and the reason for that being that we're going to use some of the symmetry tools here. So we'll, we'll go ahead and mirror the joined patch that we have right now. We'll mirror it about the center plane and then we're going to use bridge again to join these two together. So we essentially just select the faces or the edges, I'm sorry, the edges of each of these patches uh, to join together and then the, the number of faces that we want to have uh, in there. The main purpose for modeling in this manner was so that we had access to cre the creation of a plane of symmetry between the two. And, and you'll notice how advantageous that is to me as I begin to edit these. Now essentially with these edit tools such as soft modification we're able to uniquely define the area uh, based on vertices around the point that I am, the point or edges that I'm manipulating and define the area of influence for each of these edits. Now for example if we need, as you can see, uh, the dark blue is where the scan data extends beyond our new part so we need to pull that out and you'll notice that the soft modification tools allow a much wider and more elegant uh, modification of the, the surface data itself than if I had to go to every single point and manipulate it. So let's let's continue on now. Again, in all of these we'll turn soft modification off, we'll grab the plane, so all along that planar face we are extending the surface out. Again the goal is to just make sure that the tub that we are creating uh, fits as closely as possible with uh, the the scan data uh, for the driver, those pads that are going to be fitted to this uh, composite tub when it's done. You probably noticed there the, the mirror functionality is allowing a change on one side to automatically change another. Here, for example, if we increase the lumbar support up the side for the driver's back, you'll notice it automatically adjusts on the other side as well. Again, this is because of the manner in which we built it, defining that plane of symmetry. All of these freeform tools combine to create a very, very powerful uh, conceptual design environment. This, this is functionality that literally cannot be matched uh, through any other functionality or, or methodology, modeling methodology in the tool. And that being said, there are very few tools on the market that can uh, perform this type of 
uh, wholesale uh, graphic or I'm sorry geometry manipulation here we're going to use match edge again so we'll select the top edges of our surface and then select the existing edges of the uh, the tub as it is right now I will use uh, we have the option of using positional co continuity, tangency continuity, and curvature continuity uh, to drive the creation of this uh, new surface. And once that's done, uh, we can finish, finish the freeform, and that surface is now added as a regular inventor surface. Um, it has freeform underpinning, so we could always go back and edit it, but it is, as far as uh, Inventor sees it now, it is a surface that can be trimmed, edited, just like any other surface. So we'll open up some holes here for the seat belts, seat harness. Uh, now we'll join it to the rest of the tub. Now, as you can see, uh, it fits perfectly with the pads which were obtained through the scans of the driver. And this, this is powerful functionality because it allows BAC to custom create these, uh, these rather expensive automobiles for each of their specific customers. With that, I want to thank you for your time. I hope this was informative and uh, I look forward to speaking to you all again sometime in the near future. Thanks a lot.